How to buy Bitcoin on Binance, quick and easy. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with your crypto journey on Binance and how you can purchase crypto on Binance, specifically how you can purchase Bitcoin on Binance. So let's get into it. Now, Binance is one of the leading platforms for cryptocurrency and it has one of the largest crypto exchanges out there and Binance is accessible in most to all countries worldwide. So it is an amazing platform to get started with for most people. They have simplified versions as well as their detailed versions for your level of trading. So to get started with Binance, just head on over to Binance.com. You can simply sign up and create your account. Now, the sign-up process is very simple. You just have to input your email address and a suitable username and when once you've done that that is it once you've actually completed that step you have to do the second step which is going to actually take some time which is the identity verification so you're going to go into your profile you're going to go into your dashboard over here and once you go into your dashboard you're going to click on identification so over here you will have complete your identity verification you can see i've completed or verified my basic personal identity and you have to do this to be able to actually trade or purchase crypto on your binance account if you haven't done this yet, then you will have to complete this step first before you get started with purchasing crypto on Binance. So I have completed this and you can use your passport photo, a driver's license photo, or a ID card to complete your verification. You just have to complete this basic verification. You don't need to do the verified plus version. Just complete the basic verification and you will be ready to go. Now, after that, there are many different ways that you can go ahead and buy crypto or buy Bitcoin specifically. First off, when you're heading over to your dashboard, you see this buy crypto section and I will cover all of this in later on. But first off, what I recommend to most people, which is a bit of a intermediary level of trade, is to go into your wallet click on fiat slash spot so fiat slash spot basically means usdt or usd and you're simply going to click on a deposit over here once you do that you can choose the currency that you want to deposit and you can deposit that into your account once you have deposited that you can simply from your bank account or any other method of your own choice you can simply go on ahead and use that and transfer that into any crypto token of your choice like bitcoin now this is a bit more difficult and this is what you're going to do is once you've deposited your fiat or spot you can simply go into the trade section over here click on spot trade and this will open up the spot trading graph this is a little complicated and then you can scroll down over here so you're just going to scroll down and you can choose to buy btc at a certain price this actually enables you to get the best price possible on the crypto token so that is the major function for going with this route whenever you are buying bitcoin so you can choose a bitcoin with the specific pair or fiat that you had and you can input the amount of btc that you want to purchase or the amount of a usdt or spot or fiat that you want to spend in purchasing that crypto token which is bitcoin for us now if this is a little too complicated for you, you can simply deposit your basic fiat or spot, then click on trade and click on Binance convert. And you will be able to see that you have whatever money that you have in your spot wallet. So may it be BNB or, you know, whatever kind of token that you might have, you can simply convert it into BTC. So you're just going to select BTC at the bottom and then you're going to enter the amount and then it will show you the conversion and you can convert your basic amount into BTC. So these are just some of the basic ways that you can convert your money into the crypto token of your choice. Now, after that, you have the basic buy crypto function. So this is where most people like to buy crypto simply because it's a lot easier to understand or a lot simpler to get started with. So for this, all you have to do is you're just going to head on over and you're going to click on buy crypto. Then you can choose what currency you want to pay with. So let's say I want to pay with USD. So I'm going to convert this to USD. Now, the first method that you have is a bank deposit. So for that, you're going to click on bank deposit. Then they will ask you to deposit your fiat and you're going to convert that fiat into your crypto token so it's pretty much pretty similar to a basic conversion after that you have credit or debit card so once you click on credit or debit card you can directly buy the token of choice so from here you're just going to enter the amount of money that you want to spend 
let's say I want to spend $70 and then you can choose the token so we have selected BTC you can choose any token let's say I want to select BTC and after that you're going to click on continue then you're simply going to enter your credit card information so you can use a MasterCard or a Visa card to complete this purchase and once you have just entered all the information you're just going to receive your Bitcoin in your account this is one of the simplest ways that you can purchase your crypto and it is super reliable for people that are just looking to start out and that just want to you know get their feet in crypto so for that situation i do recommend using this method now if you want to lower your prices this is not the optimized method because the conversion rate you're getting you probably could get a better rate on the uh, spot trading graph but this is still pretty good and for most people it is going to be negligible now after that you have p2p trading now p2p trading basically means you buy and sell directly from another person so you can see these are other people that are selling these crypto tokens and you can choose the fiat you can choose the amount that you want to spend and you can choose what kind of token that you want this also enables you to you know filter out certain things so first off we're going to click on buy on the top then we're going to click on btc because we are looking to purchase bitcoin and then you can see the limit slash available and you can see the different people that are selling btc at different prices and you can see the payments that they accept so depending on your location or your geographical area there might be certain payment methods that are only unique to your specific location so you can do a direct phone transfer or mobile transfer that might be available in your country now after that you also have a el salvador bank payment system where you can pay uh, for crypto from el salvador this is specifically for people living in el salvador then you also have third-party payments so you can use third-party payment plans like simplex banksa or paxos to be able to purchase bitcoin as well so you're going to enter the amount of a usd and then you're going to select a currency we're going to select bitcoin and now they will show you the options that are available for bitcoin so for Bitcoin, we have Banksa or Simplex, and you're just going to select the, the provider that you want and then enter the amount of USD you want to spend and click on continue to confirm your purchase of Bitcoin on Binance. So these are the simple and easy ways that you can get started with on Binance for your crypto journey. And I do recommend Binance as a, a very good platform, for, even for beginners, because it allows you all the complicated features. It allows you to be able to access all the different functionalities that crypto provides on a very simple and a very widely expanded platform. Plus, you can also download Binance on your mobile phone, even if it's in Android, iOS. You also have the Mac version, the Windows application, the Linux version, and the API version as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video